Hello and welcome to the AltaPoint Chart Training video series. My name is Dwayne Prejean and today I'm going to show you how you can use the native AltaPoint remittance software. We're going to go into Activities, choose Electronic Claims, and then choose Post Electronic Remittance Advice, which will open this screen. The first thing you will need to do is find the file provided to you that has all of the payments in it. This file is also known as a remittance file, an ERA file, or an 835. Using the spyglass, I will navigate to where that file exists. On my desktop, it's called copy to of remit. The next thing I'm going to do is use the payment code that I will be using to post this check with. I will put the check date and a reference. Typically, this is your check number. And then over on the right side, I will begin the process of choosing my adjustment codes. In this example, I will use write off for all of these. Now, you may have specific codes that you wish to use that are tailored to the type. In other words, mine's just a general write off and this code exists in my database as WO is the code, but you might have one that's specific to corrections and reversals. You can simply create it and select it so that it gets used. I will also pinpoint my deductible code. If any of these are in the file, it knows which code to use. Now, because this is our first time, I'm going to click OK and get a message. Now, that message is telling me that this tax ID doesn't exist in the software yet. So what I'm going to do is write down that tax ID that it's showing here. Now that I've written down that particular tax ID, I'm going to go to that insurance company of which provided that check. In my example, it's our Medicare. I'm going to edit that particular insurance. I'm going to go to the practice IDs tab and right here under the federal tax ID, I'm going to go ahead and write down that number and click OK. And now I can proceed with doing those steps again. Now you're only going to have to do that once for that particular insurance company. I'm going to select my file again. And it retained all those codes that I've already selected. At this point, I'm going to click OK. Once the remittance module is done, you will get this report of which you see on your screen. You can scroll through it or even print it. I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'm going to copy the reference number because I want to run a transaction journal with the notes containing that reference number. And when I preview, I can get my report of everything that it did. And you can print or preview that report. This concludes this training.